Okay, hi there, and uh, welcome to a short video looking at green bonds. So green bonds are fast becoming one of the most interesting aspects of financial market innovation with increasing interest, especially amongst investors in advanced and emerging economies alike. So what exactly is a green bond? Well, green bonds represent an alternative investment opportunity for participants in financial markets. Green bonds are fixed interest loans, typically with a long dated maturity, 10, 15, 20 years or more. And they're designed to raise debt finance to help fund climate friendly investment. It's crucial to link green bonds to those pressures to meet the 17 sustainable development goals. Green bonds have been around for just over a decade, first introduced by the European Investment Bank in 2007. Uh, the World Bank coined the term green bond in 2008 and there is increasing interest and in activity from organisations such as pension funds, sovereign wealth funds including the biggest one in Norway and insurance companies in helping to finance the issuance of green bonds. The green, the green bond market has clearly grown as this graphic shows. Um, it's estimated that the total stock of sustainable debt otherwise known as a green bond or climate smart bond, is now over $1 trillion. But compared to financial markets as a whole, it remains a drop in the ocean. It's less than 1% of the size of the global bond market issued, mainly, of course, by corporates and, of course, by governments. So green bonds fund businesses and projects that are green. And here are some examples. So recently bonds have been issued to fund uh, more fuel efficient container ships and tankers and the in sort of a global logistics industries. Uh, lots of money in green finance going into investment projects in offshore wind turbines and enormous solar farms, particularly actually in emerging developing countries. Telecom firms have issued bonds, giving them green credentials to finance an upgrade uh, to upgrade the copper cabling with carbon fibre. The Dutch government has just raised a green bond to help fund improved flood defence systems. The Seychelles, uh, that archipelago of over 110 islands, has just issued a blue bond to support sustainable marine and fisheries projects. Kenya is thinking about listing a sovereign green bond uh, as part of their strategy for sustainable development. On the right hand side there you see the example from the Netherlands, June 2019. Um, Dutch government issuing a, one of the biggest ever green bonds, nearly 6 billion euros for low carbon development, sustainable water management. It's part of their infrastructure plan uh, to target and tackle the risk from climate change. And I think a really interesting one is this Seychelles example. So they've issued a blue bond, <coughs> appropriately named. Really interesting example because the Seychelles defaulted on some sovereign debt in 2008. So that increases the credit risk for investors. And of course, this country is highly exposed, as we know, to the, to the effects of climate change. So this is a particularly interesting one to follow, I think. Green bonds have an innate attraction, I think, intuitively, the idea of raising money for long-term um, so responsible investing, long-term so like sustainable projects, has an intuitive appeal. But it's important to be aware of some of the, the downsides. Um, there is a risk of what's called greenwashing. Now, this is where a business raises money um, notionally uh, because they're trying to establish, if you like, climate smart credentials. But actually, they're probably not using it for that. They're using it for other purposes, including pay off debt. Green bonds typically have much higher transactions costs. You need to know exactly how is the money being used, what's the social impact. What's the environmental impact? So there's probably the higher regulatory cost, which can put off some investors. And although green bonds can help fund sustainable investment, it's important in your evaluation not to ignore other policy interventions, which might also be needed as part of the, as part of the policy mix to achieve the development goals. Fiscal policy still has a key role to play, be it through carbon taxes, carbon trading, uh, renewable subsidies and also tougher, 
or stringent environmental regulations. Don't underplay the role that fiscal policy can have in terms of supporting the shift towards a low carbon economy. And the crucial evaluation point, the green bonds have grown quickly, but they're still only 1% of the global bond market. So green bond finance is still a relatively new concept, but the fast growth of responsible investing, uh, targeting funds on climate smart projects is one definitely to watch. And the key question really is, can the greening of the financial system, can green bonds help accelerate the transition to a low carbon economy and help mitigate the risks from the, the, cli the climate crisis? This is an area of change in financial markets that I think is well worth following as part of your economics studies.